when autopsy becomes halal? When? Does it become halal when I am in the medical student uh, in the medical school? Does it make it halal if the deceased would give his permission? Some scholars believe if the deceased before dying he permitted the autopsy of his body, then it becomes halal. Why? Because the reason we didn't want to, you know, violate his body, it is out of respect for him. He is telling me, go ahead. So, why I should be more Catholic than the Pope himself? He is telling me, go ahead. This is what Sayyid Khoi believes. Sayyid Khoi, rahimahullah, used to say that if the, if the deceased has given his blessing, prior to his death, over conducting autopsy, then خلاص, we go ahead and conduct the autopsy because the reason we didn't is because out of, we're, we didn't do it out of respect for him. So if he says it's okay, then it's okay. Sayyid Sistani has a different opinion. Now, I have to say that some scholars, some other scholars say if it's for educational purposes, Obviously, those who conduct autopsy, not in the morgue, not in the morgue. In the morgue, they do it for, to uncover a crime. But for Wayne State, obviously, in Wayne State University, when they do the autopsy, they do it for what purpose? Entertainment? Education. Education. Sayyid Sistani has a different opinion. Sayyid Sistani says, neither cases... Uh, constitute permission, God bless you. you. Uh, neither cases, whether the deceased gives his permission or if it's for educational purpose, it's not permissible. So when it becomes permissible, according to Sayyid Sistani, Sayyid Sistani says in one case it becomes permissible that if the life of another person Depends on this autopsy, whether now or in the future. Okay, I'm a doctor. If I do not learn how to do autopsy, I will not be able in five years to treat someone's sickness and therefore I cannot prevent his death. In order for me to save someone's lives in five years, I have to learn how to do autopsy. Sayyid Sistani says, now it is fine. Now what's the difference between him and those who say for the educational purpose it's okay? The difference is very clear. If we say for educational purpose, meaning for educational purpose it's okay whether the person will save someone's life or not. But, salamu alaikum, according to Sayyid Sistani, Doing autopsy for educational purpose is not enough. Doesn't make it halal. Only if, if the educational pur uh, purposes would lead to saving someone's life. Otherwise, I, I might not be a doctor. I might be, say, uh, whatever. I just want to know the body organs. Is this enough for me to violate? No, it's not enough. That's not it. Only if by me conducting autopsy, I will prevent, uh, save someone's life. Either in the future or right now, it doesn't matter. Which applies to most student. medical students. They learn, medical students, they learn autopsy. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, they would save someone's life, not only for educational purposes, not because they want to know the autonomy or anatomy, what's it called? Huh? Anatomy. anatomy. The anatomy of the body. Where is his heart? Where is his liver? No, this is not enough for me to violate the sanctity of, of a dead. Only if I can save someone's life and saving someone's life depending on where the heart is. If I don't know where the heart is, how I'm going to be able to save uh, his heart? If I don't know where the liver is located, how I'm going to save his liver if he is in trouble? So, 
Sayyid Sistani says only if autopsy, learning autopsy or doing autopsy would lead to saving someone's life, 